My dear sister, I left you suddenly and without warning. For that and so much more to come, I apologize. I didn't board the Helios knowing what would happen, only that pursuing my research could change the world. And we did! Just not in the way I'd imagined. Not yet, anyway. I want to explain everything now, so that you'd see that there is nothing to fear. You've always tried to protect me, my big sister, but this was meant to be. It's now my turn to protect you, if only so that things unfold the way they are meant to. Time and necessity has kept us apart, but that is about to change. We need you here, aboard the Helios, with me. I've enclosed a receiver, and as the name implies, it can receive signals through which we will communicate. I know a little of this will make any sense right now, but I also know that you will keep your promise. I love you. Your sister, Ada. Pretty light on details there, Ada. You leave without warning, and now leave me aboard the Helios? What are you telling me?
the great Helios would be more... busy? I guess Ada didn't tell anyone I was coming. like I'll have to let myself in. Distributing electricity to half of the world, and yet still hungers for that other half. <sighs> Quarantine? What have you got yourself into, Ada? Great! override. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll have to disable it. Hello? Any anyone there? for the warm welcome. Now what have you done with my sister?
Okay. One more to go. do it. Now to find Ada. Suspected Edison spies get interrogated aboard the Helios? Ugh. Wait until my editor hears about this. this message for?
the hell? Hey! Hey! Shit! Archer calling any survivors on this frequency. Is anyone out there? What the? I repeat, this is lead Aiden? researcher Archer calling for any survivors on this frequency. Is anyone? Aiden. Rose? Ada! Holy shit, Rose! Ada! What the hell are you doing here? Wait, what? Ada, you told me to come. I've got your letter right here. That... that doesn't make any sense. I didn't write you any letter, Rose. But, but never mind. There's been an accident. Or sabotage. It, it doesn't matter. We need to get off this ship. That's what the quarantine is about? Ada, what the hell is going on? Rose, listen very carefully. We really need to leave. It's spreading all... A Ada! Ada! Ugh, come on! Maybe I can get a better signal with this thing somewhere up ahead. after the sun itself, a source of almost unlimited power. This is a safe space for those with an open mind and a talent for the scientific arts to expand the limits of human endeavor. Away from prying eyes and cynical money men, here all that matters is progress as we reach for the very stars themselves. It is our floating home and the cradle of mankind's technological evolution. You walk within the very future of the human race, and you are most, most welcome. What sort of nut job builds a museum to themselves in their own house? Radio waves aren't just great for transmitting sound, images, and energy across large distances, but with this radio-controlled boat, they can also be used to transport people. If you are here on the Helios, then you've already enjoyed a voyage on one of these. They are unmanned vessels, controlled automatically via radio signals. Less risky in case of malfunction and subsequent drowning. Not that there was ever much risk. That is to say, you're safely here, aren't you? So. As well. This is the machine with which I intend to rid the world of war, once and for all, my dear Death Ray. It may seem contradictory that such a thing could promote peace, but possessed with this, none would even consider military action against us. That's the theory, at least. My first Tesla tower at Warden Cliff was a huge success. I always knew that my dream of free energy transmitted wirelessly across the globe would be a resounding success. What I did not foresee was the hunger of the human race, its gluttony for more, more, and more electricity. 
wireless transmission of power, and that's the easy part. Finding that power in the first place, now there's the tricky. When I discovered the X-ray, we would have wonderful times in the lab shooting each other with the thing. Blackened silhouettes on the walls, capturing a single moment of playtime for all eternity. That is, of course, until we realize that X-rays are quite, quite harmful. This machine makes the whole process much safer, though far less fun. Creepy ship full of scientists in the middle of the ocean. What could possibly go wrong? I can hear you, but what the hell am I doing here? If you didn't write the letter, who did? It's in your handwriting and everything. This is gonna sound weird, but it might have been me. Not present me, but future me. I know how crazy that sounds, but I promise I can explain everything. Let's rendezvous in my apartment. From there we'll escape together, okay? Escape from what, exactly? It's not safe here, Rose. It's spreading throughout the ship. I'll tell you everything when we meet up in my apartment. You need to grab a Faraday keycard from the check-in desk there in the main hall. They're kept in a wall-mounted safe. The combination should be written down somewhere nearby. The keycard will automatically take the elevator to the right district. Did you get all that? Yeah. Open safe. Get keycard. Use elevator. Meet in your apartment. I, I got it. Great. I won't be able to reach you on the radio for a bit, so just get there and stay safe, okay? Fine. But when you get there, I'm expecting some answers. Deal? Deal. Oh, and sis, even if I can't explain why or how you got here, really am grateful that you're here. See you soon. See you soon, sis.
That must be the safe. Now to get it open. Bingo. A key card for the elevator. <gasps> All right. Hope this works. that smell. Locked. Great. Yeah, but this door <laughs> won't open. Easy there, champ. Try putting your considerable weight behind it. Ada, who or what did this? We don't, we don't know yet, but right now. 
Now we need to get you safe. Make your way to the center of the apartment complex. There's a generator that will open the gates. Focus on that for now. I'm on my way. I'll broadcast you again shortly. Be careful, sis. I'll try. Visions from the past? That must be it. Let's see about getting some lights on in here. where Ada's apartment is. Ada! Ugh, about damn time. What took you? <coughs> Hello? Who is this? If you've harmed my husband, I swear to God I will break oh, every phone. Hey, hey, hey. I haven't harmed anyone, all right? My name's Aubrey. And it's really, really nice to finally talk to someone who isn't decomposing, you know? Uh... Never mind, sorry. But you have got to get me out of here. I'm holed up in the engine halls, starboard side, deck 82. Kind of trapped, actually. How soon can you get here? Look, buddy, I can't make any promises. I'm going to get my sister off this thing, but if we can, we will come to get you too. How does that sound? Oh yeah, of course. Don't mind me. I'll just sit here and starve. No problem. That sounds right. You know, Benny here in the corner died due to the exotic energy, but he still has most of his spine intact. Maybe he can lend it to you so that the next time a person in need asks for help, Enough of the backbone to actually do something. Ah. What the hell was that talking about? Exotic energy.
great at it. Archer Ada. Aha! Alpha Quarter. Now, I just need to find a way inside. Listen, buddy, like I said before, we will do what we can. Who are you talking to? Ada! Oh, thank God. Yeah, some guy named Aubrey was broadcasting on our frequency. Said he was stuck in the engine halls and mentioned something about exotic energy. I'd like some answers. 
Rose, I'd rather explain it in person. It's no, not what you... now is a great time to tell me what the hell is going on here. Fine, fine. I'll be brief. Listen. We discovered quantum resonance anomalies that prove the one electron theory, meaning that every electron in the universe is the same one moving back and forth through time. So naturally we began to consider a second time dimension attached to the Euclidean analogy of Minkowski space. Now I know what you're thinking. Ada. What about the Thompson conjecture? Ada, well, Ada, that's Ada, 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 stop. It's me you're talking to. None of that nerd talk. Right. Uh, okay. A large experiment went boom. It ruptured a current of time and dangerous things have flooded through it. These things have been killing us. All of us. We've tried to contain it all, but... The point is, we need to leave. Did you find my apartment? Yeah, but the Alpha Quarter is locked. I can't get in. Don't suppose you keep a spare keycard somewhere. Shit. No, wait! Yes, I do! My friend Eliza has a pair. God, I, I hope she's okay. She's on the ground floor, Gamma Quarter. Gamma? Mm. Then our entrance is covered in a web of live electricity cables. I can't get near it. Can you turn off the power source? The override code should be written in the Epsilon Guest Quarter. Easy peasy. Right. I'll get the override code and disable the generator. Easy peasy. Listen, I'm entering another shielded section, so I'll lose my broadcast ability again. But I'll try to hurry. I'm getting closer. Eliza. There we are. It is key cards. King. Can't be that many Aubreys on board. Could there? What's going on?
Back to the Alpha Quarter. At least I know the way. Please work. Yes! What the hell is wrong with the people here? Ada owes me so many answers. Yeah, this is Ada's room, all right. Never did learn to clean her room properly. Oh, I haven't seen this picture in years. We were just kids. When did that end? All those smarts, and you still got yourself mixed up in this mess. Hey, Rose, where are you? I made it to your apartment, and if we were to make it off the ship alive, I need to understand what's going on. For example, you said a future you wrote me the letter that brought me here. What does that even mean? My research is about exploiting loopholes in the flow of time. So a future me will write that letter and somehow send it back in time to get you here on the... Helios. Holy shit! And I think I know how! Listen, Rose, I need you to grab me some very important research. There's a secret room in my room. You find it while I make my way through another laboratory department. I'll give you a clue. It's center stage. That's it? You're just going to leave me to figure this out on my own? Have fun!
the Helios. We'll get together. Have a few laughs. Ugh. So, this is it? This is the research that will allow the letter to go back in time? Hmm. I thought it would be... thicker? How's it going? Pretty good. Although, I'm afraid I found an error in your fancy calculations. <laughs> that would be the day. What did you find? Well... You've got massless gnome vectors intersecting with relativistic spoon dimensions. None of what you just said makes any sense whatsoever. Makes just as much sense to me as this notebook. These equations will allow you to send the letter back in time? Yes, and since you received it, I've technically already done it. Or will do it, depending on how you look at it. Comforting to know that I'll at least live long enough to write it. But the research means so much more. It could do so much more for all of us. Promise me you'll protect it. Promise me. Fine. I promise. But now what? I've divided the research into two pieces. You only have half of it. I'm on my way to pick up the other half. I'm just gonna go through the bio labs now and we'll- What the- Damn it! Rose, I'm trapped! Rose, I'm trapped in the bio labs! Ro Hello? Rose, can you hear me? Oops! Ada! Piece of shit receiver. Our late arrival. A pleasure to finally speak to you, my dear. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Nikola Tesla. I know who you are. Now go away so I can speak to my sister. I am afraid that won't be possible. As I'm sure you are aware, the Helios is under strict quarantine. And for that quarantine to be effective, I cannot have you and lead researcher Acha be opening containment doors all over this ship. Damage already caused is severe. I cannot allow you to make it worse. Therefore, the both of you must remain at your current locations until this situation is resolved. You are locking us up? We will be sitting ducks for whatever is out there. Rest assured that I am doing everything that I can to remedy this situation. Right. How is that working out, huh? A ship full of dead scientists. The great Helios falling apart at the seams. Where's your unlimited energy now? Ada, are you okay? Ada. Hey, hi. Me again. Oh. It's you. Great. First I get trapped. Now this. Trapped? You too? Just like me. <laughs> well then, some expert advice. Find a good clean corner that isn't tainted with the stench of death. That's step one. Not the kind of help I was hoping for. So you can get me out? Well, that depends. Where are you? The Alpha Quarter of the Faraday District. Some kind of lockdown gate came down. Can you open it? <clears throat> About that. Can I count on you to come and help me out if I do this? 
my situation is uh, slightly more complicated. Aubrey, the door. Please. Pretty please. Go get your sister, I understand. Family first and all that. But I've got family too, you know. And I'm still trapped. Help me, and I'll help you. Okay, Aubrey. Deal. Help me get to my sister, and we will come to get you too. I promise. Scout's on. Excellent. All right, here we go. Holy shit, Aubrey! The gate nearly exploded! Sorry, so sorry. My bad. I might have sent a bit too much juice down the power lines. I'll be back in a minute. Just going to run some diagnostics and high five Benny. I think his arms should still be around here somewhere. Sounds good. Nice work, Aubrey. I'll talk to you soon. with a knife. Oh no, that's not weak. Get me out of here. Uh, okay, you get to the rail station entrance while I get everything figured out. Can you take me to the bio labs while you're at it? That's where my sister is trapped. If she can't come to me, I'll go to her. Just get to the rail station gates. I'm at the gates. Get them open. Silently this time. Yes, ma'am. Here we go. Who goes there? Stop!
Hey, it's Aubrey. Anything from your sister yet? No. I'm worried. She should have radioed in by now. The lockdown is likely blocking her ability to transmit. She's probably fine. So, is now a good time to ask how Ludwig knows your name? Maybe he mistook me for someone else. I'd rather not think about it. Still, he didn't know your name. So he must be somewhat aware of what is... Uh, Aubrey, help! I'm on it! Sit tight! Still moving, Aubrey. Stop the cart! I'm trying! I'm trying! Aubrey! Jump! Jump, Rose! Thanks, Aubrey. So, where am I? I've got some good news and some bad news. What do you want first? Bad news first, always. Okay, well, I thought I would be able to take you all the way to your sister in the bio labs, but that obviously won't happen. The good news is I know exactly where you need to also, I can provide you with this. A light at the end of the tunnel! <laughs> you get it? A light at the... <laughs> anyway, just follow the tunnel until you reach the station up ahead. That sounds easy enough. I will go towards the light. Ha! Great! I'm going to fix a few things here on my end. I'll check back in a bit. See, Benny? I told you she'd get it. Go towards the light. You made it! Aubrey! Yeah, I'm at the station. Where do I go from here? You're at the tech labs. I've already rerouted power to the section you're about to enter. I took the liberty of overloading a few select doors to help guide you towards the bio labs. Simply go with the flow. But bear in mind that I couldn't get them all, so watch your step. Okay. Anything else I should know about this place? It's probably not going to be pretty, so, you know, hold your nose. Benny smelled while he was alive, but let me tell you, decomposing flesh has a poignant odor all of its own. Isn't that right, Benny? Yeah? He's like a tulip of death. That's kind of morbid. You sure you're okay, Aubrey? I'm using my best friend's dismembered arm as a back scratcher. Of course, I'm not okay. Just continue through the tech labs. I'll be back in a bit. Huh.
ghostly visions give me the creeps. How bad do you have to screw up your time experiment for the past to become visible in the present? Exo leak. Better not be contagious. Whatever it is. triggered a quarantine that didn't manage to contain the danger. Fine, but there are too many bodies for one stab-crazy psycho. I'm still missing something. And what the devil is that terrible noise? Uh, yeah, about that. Could you unpower this lightning machine ahead of me? Ah, okay, I see what the problem is, but... Sorry, Rose, it isn't responding to my commands. Great. So what do I do? The thing you do best, my dear, you run! Just this time, avoiding the bolts of electricity at the same time! Isn't there a way to turn this thing off from in here, then? I was getting to that. On the bottom floor, there are emergency overrides. There are two panels. You will have to enable them both. That should calm the sucker right down. I'll check back in a bit, Rosie. This noise is giving Betty a headache. <laughs>
was that? I'm fine. W what happened? I've been worried sick. My transmissions were being jammed, but I found a way around it. I assume Nicola got you locked up too. Yeah, but I got out. I'm almost at the biolabs. You're still there, right? Wait, you got out of the lockdown? How? I got help from that Aubrey guy. He's trapped too. And he saved my life, so we need to get him before we leave. I promised him. Of course, of course we will. But first, the research. They hold the keys to everything. Right. Did you manage to get the other half? No, it's in the theater. We'll pick it up together right after you... Oh, this god surgery. Of all of the places Ada. we get locked up... I'm losing your signal again. Ada! Ada. Someone has been deciphering the Edison spy code. Did Tesla know he had saboteurs on board?
Hayes is the reason for the quarantine? Exo, or whatever they call it? the door. Well, they aren't exactly silent. Wherever exotic energy goes, they will go. Not that hard to track if you know what you have to be. <laughs> That's three times I owe you. Thanks, Robin. So, do you know where the body is your sister's dwelling? Yeah. She's in a surgery room. Am I close? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm opening all the doors I can for you to get there now. There's an automation right above the surgery. You should be able to see her from there. Anyway, go and say hi to your sister. The path should be open. I will, Aubrey. Thank you again. Experimentation, weather control, time manipulation. Is there any research they didn't do here? <sighs> Fucking thing! Hey, language. Rose! Oh my god, my big sister is here. My big sister is here. Yes, <laughs> she is. And we, dear sister, are getting out of here. Come on, how do I get to you? There's a door on your right, short corridor, stairwell, you can't miss it. I will be right down. Uh, Ada? Uh, I didn't do anything. Ada! Get out! Get out now! I... I, I can't. Rose... I, I can't! Rose, listen to me. It's okay. Really, it's okay. You're here for me. I will love you forever for that. But I need you to do one thing. Get my research, Rose. Save it. Go to the theater and get the second notebook. Together they hold the keys to everything. You can fix this! <laughs> 
Promise me, Rose. Promise me. Not like this. <laughs> Promise me, Rose. No! Ada! No. I I promise. Are you there? Come in, Rose. Come on, Rose. Answer me. Rose. <sighs> it's now or never, Rose. They are coming. I'm running out of doors to close. I don't care. She's gone, Aubrey. I was too late. But she's gone. Rose. Scouts honor and everything. If you don't leave now, they will get you too. Promise. Come on. Get up and get out. The left side door. Go. the physics department. Once you've gotten me out of here... I'm not going to the engine halls, Aubrey. But... but you said... you promised. I know, Aubrey. I, I know. And I will stay true to my word. But my sister asked me to do one last thing for her. I have to do this first, Aubrey. Family first. I understand. Where do you need to go? The theater. How do I get there? Get that physics department door open while I work out how to get you to the theater. I'll be right back. I'm here. Something is burning, though. Oh, yeah. That would be the reactor core. This is ground zero where it all began. Turns out the fire we lit just kept on burning. It's been consuming the Helios from within for days. Don't breathe the fumes. Highly inadvisable. Easier said than done. <coughs> you had a way for me to get to the theater? I do, but you're not going to like it. Come on, hit me. <coughs> you see where all the smoke and fire is coming from? Well, we're going to walk you straight through the middle of it. <coughs> I hate this place. It gets worse. The reactor core is shielded, so the receiver won't work once you're down there. You'll have to traverse the flames on your own. I'm going to monitor the exotic energy spread behind you, see if I can contain it. I'll talk to you on the other side. Okay. Any last minute advice? Don't burn up.
you could hear it like a force of nature. Aubrey. And I tell you what. Aubrey. Hang, hang on. Aubrey. Rosie, you're back. Great. I was just telling Benny here. The theater, Aubrey. How do I get to it? You said there was an elevator? Of course. It's right up ahead. Bringing it to you now. What do you need to do there, anyway? I need to find a notebook. Rose. I cannot fathom the sorrow you feel. That you have my sincerest sympathies. But I've saved your life a handful of times already. I think I've learned to know what this is about. You're right, Aubrey. I'm sorry. I'm looking for a notebook that my sister hid somewhere in the theater. It contained her new research, and I promised her I'd guard it. The entire ship recognized her brilliance. Nicola included. And now she's gone. The elevator is here, Rose. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> idea where this notebook might be hidden? It's a fairly large theater, you know. Afraid not. But how big can it be, really? Oh. That's just the lobby. Wait until you see the auditorium. I leave you to search while I resolve some issues with the weather tech devices. I'll uh, check in with you later. I am sure. Sorry this might take a while. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all, sir. I'm still learning how to best get around here on the Heliums. So many floors, so much to see. Quite so, but I have saved the best for last years. The Helios Grand Theater. Shall we? Shall we? By all means. By all This, Miss Archer, is the Helios Grand Wow. I'm glad you like it. We have a wonderful lineup of performances this year. And if you look closely, up there, that is your private balcony, from where you'll be able to watch them all. The balcony used to be my own, but I insist you take it as a welcome aboard gift and as a token of my appreciation for your research. What? I don't... I don't know what to say, sir. Oh, it is the least I can do, and please, call me Nicola. Thank you. But what will people say? Won't people gossip? Me, sitting in your balcony? It's not mine, not anymore. And people will always gossip. It interests me. Come now, let me show you the view. Of course. Would you hide your research there, Ada? Always wanted to see her perform. From there, it was merely a matter of building it. But enough about me. What about you, Ada? What about your family? You had a sister, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Rose. Rose Archer. And if you think I'm stubborn, wait till you meet my sister. <laughs> what does she do? She's a journalist. Is that so? Is she any good? The best.
easy. Easy now. Ah, here we are. I do hope it will provide you with much joy while aboard the Helios. It's wonderful. I really cannot thank you enough. Nonsense, my dear. Just continue to pursue your theories. That will be gratitude plenty. I, I, I truly believe you are onto something revolutionary, Ada. It's just missing that final spark. I hope the Helios will provide the resources required for us to find it. Because when we do, we will have changed the world forever. To changing the world. To changing the world. To changing the world. Not here? Not here? Come on. There's, there's, there's a secret room in my room. You find it while I make my way through another laboratory department. I'll give you a clue. It's center stage. Th that's it. You're just going to leave me to figure this out on my own? Have fun. Center stage. Holy shit. Ada, I hear you. played our conversation from the past, but it's like she's still here, leading me onwards. Alright, center stage. How do I get up there? Super secret research? Where would I hide?
make your peace. Our collective suffering ends today! I could have used you like five minutes ago. You found the notebook, didn't you? I bet you did! Right? Right? Yes, Aubrey. I got the notebook. And then I ran into Ludwig. Oh no. Are you okay? I'm fine, Aubrey. And thankfully, Ludwig took a face full of fire, so that's one problem less. Great news after another. What's next? Anything yet? No, nothing. Wait! Now! Aubrey, now! Oh, that's deck 66. Next order of business, getting you that elevator. Fantastic, Aubrey. Thank you again for everything. I'm coming to make good on my promise. You have no idea how good that sounds. Uh, wait, let me get the doors. Oh, god damn it. What's wrong? There's... Ugh, gross. There's the body of a man crucified against the elevator wall. Is there a different elevator you can send up? I'd rather not. It's... it's the only one... It's the only one, Rose. I hate this place. I hate this place so much. <sighs> one leaf in. One thorn out. Thanks for doing this, Rose. Yeah. That I had a family, but I don't. That was a lie. I'm a liar, Rose. I'm sorry. That's okay, Aubrey. <sighs> Glad to hear it, because I'm afraid you've got a bit of work to do before you can get to my end of the engine halls. But of course I do. What a surprise. Where do I go? Make your way to the local engine hall. You'll have to find a way to the other side of it. Yes! The power coupling, Spenny! Hey, Rose. I gotta sort this out. I'll be back in a jiffy. Just don't... Don't what? Aubrey? Aubrey! Great.
Yeah, I'm still here, Aubrey. I made it across the engine hall. What now? Up ahead is hydraulics and pressure control. The distribution coil is boiling the storage tanks, so you're going to have to reduce the pressure in order to get the security doors to open. Find the pressure valves, Rose. Turning them should bring the pressure down. Okay. Find the valves to reduce pressure. Got it. Doing great, Rose. You're almost here. Okay. Talk to you in a bit. Aubrey? Years of... Aubrey! Sensors here. The security doors should be open. Just one more hurdle, and then we can get the hell out of this ship. All right, one more hurdle. What's up next? Well, you remember that malfunction in supersized electromagnetic distribution coil? It's. You know what? Some things just need to be seen. Come on through. distribution coil.
Good to know. You should be able to see me. I'm in the tall building to your right. See me in the window there, Rose. Anyway, you see that building on fire in the distance? That's where you'll find the emergency deactivation switch. Wait, all the way over there? At the other end? Yep. You want me to sprint there while Electromag something or other regularly fries the entire place? Yep. <sighs> I've been thinking about this part. If it's all right with you, I'll open the door on the left and just hide in the corner for a while, okay? Of course. I, I wouldn't want you screaming in my ear anyway. Did it work? Just... a moment. I think you did it, Rose. 
Rose. Oh, thank God. I can't believe it. You did it. Woohoo! I am going to live. Hey, 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 hey. So, Aubrey, Aubrey, how about we finally get off this godforsaken thing? Lot of the hideous. Take the metal walkways on your left. They should lead you up here to the control center. I know I've said thank you already, but it will be nice to finally be able to do it in person. On my way, Aubrey. See you in a bit. of a shortcut off this thing. Ooh, I don't fancy going back the way I came. Aubrey? Where are you, Aubrey? Let's go! Come on, Aubrey. Let's go already. Aubrey? I tried to tell you. I really did. I'm a liar, Rose. I've heard everything, every word, since you came aboard. From your first conversation with Ada, to the last words she ever spoke. I even listened in on your conversation with Aubrey. Nicola. What? It wasn't Tesla's lockdown that was jamming your sister's broadcast. That was another lie. It was me! Why? Because she took everything from me! Everything! I had his attention! I had his respect! But she took it all. I used to be someone aboard the ship. But now... Now the time has come to take Aubrey. back. Starting with these. If you do this, I will kill you. Is that a promise, Rosie? Scout's honor. <laughs> Cute. You forget that just like I led the exotic energy to the surgery room of your sister, so too am I leading exotic energy to you right here. You better hurry. Those things will be here any minute. Benny here will keep you company while you die. I instead will use these to save the day and claim what was mine. One leaf in, one on, out.
It's going to be okay. They're gone. It's going to be okay. Ada once warned me about the stubbornness of her sister. As always, I should have listened. I did not foresee you being able to journey halfway across the Helios, even despite my own efforts to prevent it. And because of that failure... M my failure... Ada is lost to us. Aubrey opened doors that has allowed the contamination to spread. He is currently on his way to the tower, where he will attempt to use your sister's research to close the rift. But I fear that he will be unable to grasp the immensity of Ada's work, and thus make a bad situation much worse. I am therefore on my way to do what I can to fix this, and in the process, reclaim Ada's research. I would tell you to stay where you are, in relative safety and rest, but I am fairly sure that won't happen. Damn right. We may be too late to save Ada's life, but we are not too late to save her legacy. I will be in touch. I promised Ada I'd get her research, and I did. I promised Aubrey I'd get him out, and I did. But what has all that work given me? A broken rib, and a concussion. At least I promised Aubrey I'd kill him. So let's see how that goes. surgery room. What? She's gone. Together they hold the keys to everything. You can fix this. Promise me, Rose. Promise me. Not like this. Past? Present? Or future? And when did I carry you here? There's so many questions. Still, I will keep my promise. 
I will get your research back. Hopefully, they hold the answers. Rose, how are your wounds? I'm afraid I'm not much of a doctor, but I did what I could to mend- I'm fine. If this is some weak attempt at keeping me from reclaiming Ada's research, then think again. On the contrary, I'm counting on your assistance. In fact, so is Ada. What do you mean Ada is counting on me? Ada is gone. Ada is dead. But she isn't gone. Her research into multiple time dimensions and exposure to the rift has changed. What were they trying to do here? Harvesting electricity from plants? Break the quarantine. Finally, someone with sense. station to take me to the tower. should be just up ahead.
Yeah. I'm heading towards the tower now. What the hell is happening? Ogre is channeling power from all over the Helios in a hopeless attempt to close the rift. He's just making it worse. Exotic energy is leaking everywhere. We need to get up there before it's too late. Go through the base entrance towards the tower. Continue up until you find a large equipment elevator. Use it to the top of the tower and stop Ogre! As good a plan as any, I guess. Then what? Then you keep Aubrey in check while I... That must be the Tesla Tower. Sounds like you need some help with the equations up there. Rose? You're still alive? Hey, you know you're proving to be much harder to kill than your sister. You're still not even a tenth of the scientist Ada was. Oh, don't you worry, Rosie. I don't need to be her equal to reclaim the spot she stole from me. All I need is a bit more time and a little less interruption from the relatives of dead people.
knows what you've done. Tesla knows. <laughs> nice try. I'm closing the rift and saving the Helios. Nicola will only know what I tell him. You can't lie yourself out of this one. He's on the way, Aubrey. He knows. Oh, please. Is this all you've got left, Rosie? Pathetic. I'll get rid of you the same way I got rid of Benny if I have to. You can take your empty... Vincent. Oh, sir. So glad you are here. I think there must be something wrong with... Uh, Nicola? Sir? Aubrey, we have unfinished business. Revenge must wait. I need you to fix the starboard power circuits. To your left, hurry! I'm here. What do I do? You need to reset the magnetic oscillation. Ah! Uh, never mind. Just make all lights go red before pulling the auxiliary power switch. All lights red. Now where is that power switch? Rose, I need you down here. Now! Stairs on the right side. Go!
Get up, Rose! You have to run! The tower is about to fall! You need to move! What about you? Are you still up there? Don't worry about me! Just go, Rose! Go! Just keep running forward! Up. Go! Ah, spin globe? Take hidden elevator. I bet it's never that easy. Never that easy.
So, where is that globe? This one. My dear sister, I left you suddenly and without warning. For that and so much to come, I apologize. You knew all of this would happen. That's my ticket out of here. Let's go. Do I start this? Ada back! <laughs> <laughs> 